original Season 5 cancellation, the show's creators intended Lucifer to end with Season 5, but Netflix decided to commission a sixth season. And now, fans crave more of the story, which is practically why we're getting a continuation. The question is, when will this continuation happen? Let's find out, shall we? Lucifer Season 7. Will it happen? After what we call a wild roller coaster, Lucifer and Chloe got there happily ever after. Or did they? Either way, the 10 episodes of Lucifer were binge watched in a day by dedicated fans all over the world. But Lucifer left us with some questions that we can't get out of our minds. Because of this, and basically because of how popular the show is, we need another season of the supernatural crime comedy romance series. Thankfully, we'll certainly see a continuation of the series, but it appears as the show won't continue with season seven. Instead, we'll presumably see a film that will serve as a spin-off and will probably continue some time after the events we saw at the end of Lucifer season six. If you ask us, we would love to see a prequel. A prequel sounds like a much better idea to do first. And more importantly, a prequel series can cover plenty of storylines of Lucifer before he got to LA. This would include Chloe's life prior to meeting the handsome devil. What do you guys think of a Lucifer prequel? Let us know. Now, let's continue with more details regarding Lucifer's future. Lucifer season six, the finale. In Lucifer's final episode, we discover more about his time-traveling daughter, Rory. You see, Rory is Lucifer and Chloe's daughter, who initially searches for her dad in order to get revenge, since he abandoned Chloe and her a long time ago. However, she and her dad later realize that he left them upon Rory's request, so the pair tries to build a more loving father-daughter relationship. Rory also asks her dad not to change anything about her childhood, and then suggests Lucifer should change his purpose. She tells Lucifer he should go to hell and be the therapist to all the cursed souls there. Ella Lopez is with Detective Carol Corbett and running Miss Lopez's STEM initiative. Dan is in heaven with the person he truly loves, Charlotte Richards. Maze and Eve get married and work as bounty hunters. Aminadiel is the new god. Oh, and he and Dr. Linda have a baby with wings, Charlie. We also see Rory at her mother's bedside when Chloe passes away peacefully after having lived a long, fulfilling life. Lucifer is back in hell, being the therapist to all the damned souls, and the two of them reunite in the afterlife. This is a short recap of the last episode, and we tried to include the most significant storylines. Anyway, what bothers fans the most is the way Lucifer and Chloe's story wrapped up. They obviously didn't spend their lives together, and that's the reason most fans didn't find the finale satisfying. Lucifer Season 7, Current Status. As you already know, Lucifer was canceled by Fox after the show's third season, and when fans started asking for more of a story, Netflix decided to continue the saga by purchasing the rights to the series. Then, Netflix decided to give Lucifer two more seasons, and with a cliffhanger, and with a cliffhanger ending to the fifth season. The creators then asked Netflix for an additional season of the show, season six. The sixth season of Lucifer is now streaming on Netflix, and obviously, season six was not what fans hoped for or expected, so they want more. According to Entertainment Weekly, Tom Ellis hopes the season six finale feels like a proper one. He explained in an interview with EW that they did talk painstakingly about how do we end this and what's the right way to end it and all of those things. He also said that it was quite interesting to find a proper way to wrap up the story since so many fans were really invested in the characters. Co-star Laura German also told EW she felt the way the story ended was, quote, beautiful. Then, in an interview with The Wrap, German and Ellis said Lucifer needed to end with season six, but they also said to never say never when it came to future Lucifer projects. Ellis added, quote, will we ever reprise these roles again? I don't know, I don't know, but at least the movie sounds fun in the future. 
Ellis constantly shows an interest in Lucifer's future projects, so we believe it's just a matter of time until Netflix decides to do a film with the devil, and presumably the other characters that played an important role in the series. Since Lucifer gave a conclusion to Chloe and the devil's story, we don't believe the film will have Ellis and German as the protagonists. Maybe a spin-off will follow Rory. It would be fun to see more of her background and find out as much as there is to know about her, right? We would also love to see how Linda manages to take care of her baby with extraordinary features. A reunion film. The thing most people were bothered with when it comes to Lucifer's finale was the way Lucifer overlooked his daughter and the love of his life. Although Lucifer Morningstar and Chloe Decker eventually reunited in hell after Chloe's death from old age on Earth, Chloe spent her entire life on Earth alone. However, season seven with Lucifer and Chloe seems impossible right now, mostly because of the conclusion to their story. But as previously mentioned, Tom Ellis and Lauren German are quite interested in the idea of a Lucifer film. And with two of the lead stars of the show taking interest in such a project, we can't see why the creators won't at least consider the idea of it. In an interview with The Wrap, German said that she really wishes for a, quote, naked gun or airplane style Lucifer movie. Quote, my fantasy is that we shoot a Lucifer movie, but in the style of naked gun and airplane. So if we could ask the fans if they're okay with a naked gun or airplane style Lucifer movie, well, we would love to see this idea come to realization. In the same interview, however, Ellis said, quote, never say never and all those things, but this feels like this incarnation of these characters in this show, this feels like this is the right time to finish. Also noting that the movie sounds fun in the future. Well, Netflix, it's your turn now. So guys, if a Lucifer film, spinoff, prequel, or any kind of a project happens, when should we expect it? How much time will the creators ask for in order to make a potential film? Well, let's find out. Lucifer season seven or film release date. The showrunners seem to stick to the idea that Lucifer season six was indeed the last one. So what if they decide not to make a film? Well, you have nothing to worry about as the film could be picked up by other directors, which is also the case with Netflix. Another streaming program could certainly make a film, maybe HBO. The fact that fans saved Lucifer from being canceled before also proves that there's still a chance for Lucifer to continue. Season six of the series premiered on Netflix starting September 10th, 2021, and it consists of 10 episodes with different lengths of time, from 44 minutes to 65 minutes long. Now, if Lucifer's continuation happens, Let's say if the same streaming network with the same creators considers the idea for a film, and this consideration happens in 2022, they will presumably need two years before the film is released on our small screens. They will need to find the proper way to continue the saga. And for now, according to us, the best way would be if they decided to do a spin-off with the younger generation of Lucifer's characters. Back in 2019, Ildi Modrovic, one of the creators of Lucifer, talked about a potential spin-off. A fan asked her if they would consider the idea of a future spin-off, and she replied, quote, well, of course we would. On a related note, what are your hopes for Lucifer's continuation? Would you rather see a spin-off or a film? Perhaps a prequel? Let us know down in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.